Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today it is all about what I have melted and what I have burned with the exception of those candles you guys are selecting on Saturdays that I am putting up on my community tabs page for you to vote on. That's gonna be a separate video where I'm gonna review all of those candles near the beginning of April. So I'm only gonna show you guys the melts that I've melted, completed, still melting, the candles that I have completed that aren't part of that little project that we're doing. I also have one candle that wasn't part of the, you know, the voting process that I have been burning in the bathroom that isn't completed and of course I have empties so everything that I have emptied when it comes to wax melts candles and so on so we've got a little bit to go through so let's get started so the very first candle that I have to share with you guys this is a candle that I have currently burning in our bathroom it's one of those like little pop soda pop <laughs> lids they're really cute it's from DW home I did pick this one up for nine dollars and 99 cents Canadian this was at winners I believe or home sense I can't recall the lemon splash it says original and refreshing soda pop so so it's really lovely. I love a, a fresh lemon scent, especially this time of year. I really do enjoy that kind of scent and I'm gonna start rolling into more strawberries and things like that for April and May and so on. As we get closer to summer, it'll be fruity scent. This has been really great. There is a bit of soot right here. And as per uh, even the larger versions of these, they do taper in, let's see here, they do taper in at the top. And so it's, <laughs> I'm never complaining. Uh, there's a little bit of sitting, but that's because of the taper at the top. Other than that, it's been burning beautifully. So I've really enjoyed burning it in our bathroom. So that's the one candle that we haven't completed that I will still be burning. So you'll probably see this is an empty next month. All right, so to wax melts that I have not completed yet, but I did use uh, throughout the month of March. We have from VCS, Meet Me in St. Louis. And this one is described as warm, cozy linen with a hint of sweetness. I love this one in the bathroom. I don't know, I just love this. And I did a big chopping video. I'll try to remember to put that in the cards above where I did a lot of these things you're going to see today. I chopped up quite a few things. Anyway, I really love VCS. Apparently they're not out of business anymore. So I'm confused, whatever. I, you know, Anyway, I have my own opinions on it, but anyway, great. The Kirby is open. Uh, she's still melting and still pouring, but um, her wax is great. It's one of my top vendors for sure. And still with VCS or Vintage Chic Scents. This one here was in Don Corleone. Now, this is not the original Don Cor Corleone that I remember and recall from 2015, because this one definitely smells like cherry. This is Amaretto Coffee Tiramisu topped with a fresh picked strawberries. Now, with Amaretto, which is almond, almond to me smells just like cherry, and that's 100% what I get from this. I don't really love the cherry, and I wish I got more of the coffee and the tiramisu. I do have, a, like, what's left here, and I do have another, um, Set another bag like this as well to melt. Even if she repoured that again in the future, I would not pick up Don Corleone because unless she got the old oil, because I remember her saying that she had to redo the recipe because the oil originally that she had that I love, of course, is gone. <laughs> so anyway, not my favorite because I'm not a cherry. Like I don't need to smell cherry in almonds, everything and everything right now in personal fragrance is cherry, cherry, cherry. And I'm like over that. So <laughs> not to sound negative, but I guess I am. Again, still from VCS, we have Johan which is one of my favorite scents from any vendor. This is fresh strawberries blended with rosemary mint and shaving cream. And I chop these ones up deliberately in really small pieces because this is the type of scent I love in our bathroom. And our warmer is very small. So I, the dish is like really shallow. So I don't want to put too much and flood it out. I love this one. I have it um, in a big slab as well that you'll probably see down the road, but I really enjoy that one. So this is Zape and I can't remember one of you guys. Thank you so much. And I can't recall who it was mentioned to me what this was. It was something or orchid orchard orchard something like it is from the halloween collection this was the big pie slice again if you clicked onto that card above that i placed you'll have seen what this looked like as a whole <laughs> i really do enjoy this one i don't have set no descriptions but it's very vanilla and very apple it smells wonderful and then we have one of my favorite scents and you know what? One of my husband's favorite scents, we're just saying something because he doesn't have a good sniffer. This is Jaws. Now Jaws to me, I just think it's wonderful. This is the OG and then there's so many like flankers from Jaws. There's probably like eight of them where it's the same base of Jaws and then they just add one other note. I can't remember. I should memorize this by now, but this is my one of my perfect scents for my bathroom. You see, there's a lot of bathroom scents here, but I love changing that out and this really, it lasts so long. You don't need very much and it's absolutely amazing. 100% recommend. And then I'm kind of sad because I think this is my last bag. Oh. Beauty and the Beast by Super Tarts. This one here is blackberry sweetened cereal, marshmallows and sugary milk. This is one of my top scents from any vendor of all creation of all time. <laughs> 
This is one of my favorites. I really, really enjoy this one. I will cherish this and of course I will repurchase. On to empties. So I have two candles from DW Home that we, em or that I emptied. Both of these I found at Winners or Home Sense. No, the stickers don't really give it away. It's one or the other. I have here chocolate strawberry in this one. And this one here is the white chocolate raspberry. The white chocolate raspberry I mostly got from my husband because he loves raspberry. And they're both pretty much did the same thing. They're great candles. I love DW Home. They're my favorite candle to purchase, you know, in Winners or Home Sense, Marshalls, wherever you guys can get that. Um, they were both, how much were they worth? How much were they? $9.99. That's not a bad price. I think they were geared to more of a Valentine's Day lineup because of the what the what they are. They burnt really well. Yes, there's a bit of sitting. There's more sitting on the white chocolate raspberry jar. I don't know. It's really hard to see with the lighting I have in this room. Otherwise, it burnt really, really well. I didn't get the smell of kerosene. They didn't puny wick on me. But yes, this one here has a little bit more sitting than the chocolate strawberry. But would I repurchase them again if I found them in those stores again? Yes. To a candle I received in my stocking from Santa Claus. I think this is from the dollar store, like Canada's version of one of their versions of dollar store. This is the Watson's candles in the lemon and vanilla. And let me just tell you, yes, there's a little bit of candle along the side. Okay. But for the inexpensiveness of this candle, likely that it is, it says it was $3 down below actually. So, you know, dollar store, $3. Anyway, and there is some residual on the side. This would really rival any vendors um what is it marshmallow and lemon marshmallow like or lemon pound cake it, it i won't i wouldn't say there was a cake you know what i will say though is like a lemon bar with coconut on top that's what i get from this so it's one of those lemon bars that you might make or you know someone brings them to the office they're really nice and tart in the middle and then on top it's got a little sweet flaked coconut that's exactly what this candle was and this is what i had going in our bathroom and it was delicious i would absolutely repurchase especially if it's three dollars canadian so in america it's probably two bucks anyway great candle i got two bath and body works candles both of them were decent um this one here, Cosmopolitan, and I don't have the proper write-ups with me right now. It's supposed to be like, a, you know, very much like a drink and it was a lovely scent. Uh, the candle color definitely went weird. It was a nice pink color before. It smelled really good. It burned really well. I really enjoyed it and I don't believe it struggled too much. And this one here, I had to stop burning it, I think. Yeah, I had to stop this one a little bit early. As you guys can see, we did not make it to the wicks, like the wick base, because I think it was, I think it was just getting puny for me. There was this one here, I think was struggling with more than the other one that we were just talking about. Candy Emporium, I should have said that. Would I repurchase this if this were to go on sale in the SAS come summer? Yes, but what I would probably do is chop this up because essentially this is a great scent of candle. It says like fruity candy, sweet confections and pillowy mints. That's what it says on the bottom. And I think this would be a great candle to chop. Great candidate for that. So that's what I would do. And then these lids are so cute. Like the ice cream shop lids on the top there. And this one's like all Christmassy. Love it. Before we got onto the wax melts that I completed, this is the last candle, another DW home. This one was $14.99. It's very similar to that pop version one that I showed you at the very beginning of this video that I've been burning in the bathroom. It's got a really nice silicone lid. I mean, a little overboard, but it's super cute. It goes with the whole theme. I was able to pick up quite a few of these that were in like the coffee realm. So that it was always mixed with something. Now this one might surprise you because it surprised me. This one here is a rose truffle latte. And again, when it comes to home fragrance, I need the, the latte to, I need the coffee to stand out ahead of any of the other mixtures or combinations um, with that particular scent. This one smelt up my entire office space. I think I said it in that video when I hauled it, but in a good way. Yes, there's rose in there, but it was a really lovely, just a wispy rose in the backdrop drop of a very strong, hot piping cup of coffee. That's what I got. Very interesting blend. blend I don't think I've ever had. And I don't think I've ever seen vendors, like indie vendors actually do like a rose coffee, but it would be something if you're watching any of you guys, I'm not sure if anyone does, but if you do, that might be something intriguing to test out and see what that would smell like for the oils that you guys have. Cause this was really good and very strong. Okay, so we have some sensationals. These all can be picked up in Canada. This one was US, you can pick, okay. You see the Canadian or US only stickers. I have seen these three in Canada. Sorry, I'll move this a little bit closer. This one here, Frosted Cranberry, haven't seen in Canada. And then of course the time of year, I'm, I don't even know if I'll see it come the fall, winter next year in the States. 
Oops, but I got this in ooh, 2022, I wrote on the side. Frosted Cranberry, hands down one of my favorite scents from this like Walmart wax, but uh, Vendor Wax, Bath & Body Works. Frosted Cranberry from Bath & Body Works is my favorite cranberry scent from them. I love it. Even though it's not in season, I made sure I melted this on the days I knew I was working in my office. So, and I was in there for many hours at a time. So I wanted to be able to enjoy it. I would buy a sleeve or two of this if I could find it ever again. But again, this was from the United States. As mentioned earlier, two of these have the US sticker on them, but all three of these at some point, some more seasonally than others, you can definitely find in the Canadian stores. So I would repurchase all of these. I have, actually, I'll start with this one. Blue Skies, I have repurchased many times. This is a great bathroom scent. It's very easy throw it, pop it into your warmer. I just use one cube in my warmer because like I said earlier, the warmer is a little bit more shallow. It's a smaller dish. So just one cube will do. Great fresh scent. So that's great. And I have melted these before with other, like another pack of these before. I would definitely purchase these again. We have creamy pumpkin, perfectly fluffy, even though it shows like a pumpkin latte or something. There's no latte. It's just like whipped marshmallowy, whipping cream, pumpkin, a little bit of spice. And then we have this one here, which is the lemon and pumpkin shortbread. Less of the spice, which makes it very nice that's right i rhymed <laughs> anyway this one actually is a right up here it says lemon pumpkin ginger cinnamon clove and sugar I, I didn't get this this one was a little bit heavier oops this one here was a bit heavier on the spice than this one but i love both of them i would definitely repurchase them if i found them again i have two clamshells that i emptied from a zape one of my top vendors this is or was gingerbread latte which is gingerbread graham crackers vanilla cream and espresso and red cup season i just finished this this past weekend which is espresso peppermint mocha uggs and leggings i've had these ones before in smaller little cups and then they made them a big sampler with full size clamshells and then I've, i still have more of the small size cups as well these are great I love every vendor I've shown you today, Rainbow Melts, uh, VCS, Super Tarts, Zape, so far, like they all do coffee and they all do coffee really, really well. I think my favorite vendors that I've talked about today that do coffee, like that the coffee is my favorite, is Zape, Rainbow Melts, and Super Tarts are my favorite vendors for doing coffee. I would repurchase both of these again, love them very much. This is like probably like the third or fourth of each of these scents that I have melted. Like, yeah, a little goes a long way as well. And last but not least, we've got some bags to go through so we're gonna do that so we have from rainbow melt sweet tea sangria and this was part of that chopping video and i just came back from spain if you guys are not already subscribed please do i will put our link as i always do in my description bar my husband and i have a travel channel and we would love for you guys to come and check it out anyway we just came back from spain and i'm about to start posting a bunch of videos about another place we went to with an 11 hour turnaround time between spain and the other part of the world the reason why i'm talking about this is the sangria that was my drink of choice everywhere we went and let me just say not all sangrias are alike <laughs> because there were definitely favorite places that make really good sangria and others that were way too sweet like way too much sugar but anyway this is described as southern sweet tea raspberry sangria this is gorgeous love the scent then we have an empty of bob hope at the cafe from vcs sweet strawberry rhubarb pie topped with chantilly cream topped with extra strawberries this is wonderful i've had that one before and then again from vcs aunt nelly's espresso cupcakes which is espresso beans rich vanilla cupcakes zucchini bread and sugar cookies really really nice i think i have a whole other chunk of that one to, to use up as well and we have billy bossa nova's lemon sugar bundt cake Gooey marshmallows, lemon sugar bundt cake, rich vanilla cupcakes, yellow cake, and rich sugar cookies. And today was the last day. So just before I started filming, I actually put all my melters around and I used the last bit of this up. It's currently going on in our bedrooms right now. Like I said before, lemon, I love lemon for this time of year. Anyway, great scent. Um, Princess of Monaco is probably my favorite lemon blend, which is fairly basic. I think every vendor can probably do that one very easily, but I have a huge slab of that one put away. So I'm sure I'll be chopping that one up shortly. Then we have Icy Breath Upon My Neck, Coconut Eucalyptus, Vanilla Sandalwood, and Icy Peppermint, the last one here from BCS. Great scent, loved it. Bathrooms, that was a bathroom melt. Then we have from Southbound Candle Co, Strawberry Pound Cake Birthday Ice Cream Cake. This is delicious. Again, if you're a gourmand lover, if she has this on her pre-order each month, do it. It's so delicious, it's great. The description is Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Delicious Birthday Cake. Makes my mouth wanna water right now. So the last two are 
are from Super Tarts, one of my top vendors. Again, everything, again, when it comes to vendors, you're only gonna see my top. I've been at this for a while and I only choose to purchase from my top favorites. So know that everyone you've seen that is obviously not Walmart brand, you guys know that these are my favorites. So Chomper, which is something I used in the bathroom. This is from Super Tarts. This is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and mac apple. So there you go. What it is is Jaws that we talked earlier and that I couldn't remember the scent note descriptions plus the Mac Apple. So sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear is Jaws. Add Mac Apple and you've got Chomper. So I've purchased that one many times. I love it for the bathroom. Then we have Mouse Ears. What a pleasant scent. Perfect for getting out of the winter gloom and doom. <laughs> where I live, it gets very cloudy. You don't see a lot of sunshine. I live where it rains a lot. So maybe it doesn't snow as much as some places, but I get a lot of rain. So when you're melting mouse ears, it's just so bright and refreshing and it's just like very youthful and I love it. So this is also from Super Tarts. This is described as ice lemonade and lollipops. I've, I've melted this one before and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I, I was able to melt it again. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That was what I have been melting so mostly empties with some things that you'll probably see in the melting basket coming up for the month of april as always you guys thank you so much for watching be safe take care and have fun bye guys